okay now uh, we want to create a live item so let's go to our sprites folder mm, where are you sprites okay this uh, this sprite is the one that we're gonna use uh, for the life item but not exactly this one but we're going to make a, a duplicate okay and let's rename this like life item sprite okay so now uh, we want to put this this sprite uh, right about right about here I guess okay yes perfect and then uh, let's scale it down something like this okay and we need to we need to edit uh, his pivot so let's go to live item sprite right here and let's go to our sprite editor oops okay and let's move this pivot point right in the base here okay let's hit on apply and close the graphic okay now <clears throat> now okay let me just put this right here okay so there is our reference and then I need to make an empty, empty object exactly where this this image is so uh, create empty pull it out of the hierarchy and this is going to be called life item um, our scale 1 1 and 1 and then uh, I drag life item sprite inside life item okay all right next we need um, a box collider for our life item so box collider and this box collider uh, we need this to be trigger is trigger and then um, let's move it something like this okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the X okay I think okay it's functional perfect okay now let's go to our scripts folder uh, under item scripts and let's create a new C sharp script and this is going to be called live uh, live item script and we're gonna put this live item script on uh, under live item okay so we have the script let's open our script and let's start coding so okay mm -hmm. our first variable is going to be a private game object is going to be our player okay then uh, we're gonna we need to mm -hmm, private uh, life manager it's going to be our life manager Okay, then uh, we need our private um, sprite renderer. It's going to be a sprite renderer. Okay, next a uh, private box collider. It's going to be our box collider. Okay, great. Now, um in the start function let's say okay player is going to be equal to game manager dot instance dot player <clears throat> our life manager is going to be equal to find object of type 
our <coughs> life manager okay great now for our sprite renderer it's going to be equals to get component in children children uh, our sprite renderer okay <clears throat> and our box collider is going to be equals to get component box collider okay great mm, now let's um, erase this method and uh, oops <coughs> and let's say okay void on trigger enter collider other Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. okay. If um, other the game object uh, is our player, then what's going to happen? Um, we need to call a method pick life, but uh. We haven't uh, done this this function, but we're gonna make it. Then um, let's print um, life collected. All right, mm -hmm. and then let's do the pick life function. That's going to be a public void pick life yes oops okay mm. okay we need uh, to call the method from our life manager that is give life for the first thing. okay then our sprite renderer is going to be enable well enable is equals false okay then our box collider enable is equals false <coughs> and then destroy our game object okay let's save the script <coughs> 